How's it going everyone? In today's video we're going to learn about traits. And since there's a lot to explain, I'm actually going to split this up into four videos, but today we will at least get started with learning how to implement a trait. Now a trait defines a collection of methods that types can implement. The purpose is to group method signatures that multiple types can share as behavior. To define a trait, you type in the trait and the name of the trait followed by the implementation. And you can add the public keyword to let other crates depend on it. But inside here, we should supply method signatures only. For example, we might have a method signature that says summarize, and that will take self and return a string. That's all we're going to provide. And we're going to use concrete types later to provide bodies for the required methods. And it's important to note that a trait can declare several methods. In this example, I'm only defining one. Up next, let's take a look at how we can implement traits for concrete types. And for this example, we're going to create two structs, one called news article, which contains a headline, a location, an author, and some content. And another one, which is called social post, which will contain a username, some content, a reply, and a repost. Next, we can implement or use the trait on the structs. So here we can type in implement summary for the news article. And if you hover over the red squiggly lines, you'll notice that we did not implement all the trait items. We are missing the one item that we defined in our trait. So we are required to implement this functionality. So let's do that by implementing a method called summarize. And here, all it's going to do is print the headline, the author, and the location. Then we can do the same thing for the social post. We can implement the summary for social post. And inside here, once again, we are required to implement all of the functionality. So what we're going to do is create a method called summarize, which will return a string. And here we're going to format it and return something that contains a username and some content. And to use this functionality, all we need to do is create a couple of structs that contain some data. So I'm going to copy and paste in an article and a post, and then we can use these structs exactly as we would expect. So we can print line, pass in some curly brackets, and then supply article.summarize, which returns a string, and the string it returns is a summary of the article. Penguins win the Stanley Cup championship by Iceberg and the location. Then we can do the exact same thing for the post. So down below, we'll just type in post.summarize after making sure this has a semicolon. And now when we run this, we will get the summary for the second one as well. So as you can see, all the trait requires us to do here is implement certain functionality. Then we can use those structs as normal. Now, the last thing I want to show you how to do today is how to provide default method implementations in your traits. So for now, what I'm going to do is remove all of these structs and struct definitions. So all we have right now is the summary trait. But now what we're going to do is define a default implementation. And the default is going to return a string from read more. So this is the string that we will return. Now the implementer can choose to keep the default or override them selectively, which is quite nice. Defaults may also call other trait methods, including required ones. And it actually turns out we do need our structs from earlier, so I'm going to paste those in once again, just to show you how we can use this default behavior. So down below, we're going to implement summary for the news article. And to use the default implementation, we can provide an empty pair of curly braces. We are not required to provide a body for summarize since we have a default implementation. Otherwise, if you want to provide your own implementation, you can override the method. So for social post, we will be overriding the summarize method by providing our own implementation. But let's use a different example this time. So I'm going to remove all of that and I'm going to create two new structs. One which is called simple note, and that contains some content of type string, and another one which is called detailed post, which contains a username and some content. Now for the simple note, we're going to implement the summary for that note, and we're just going to use the default implementations. But for the detailed post, we're going to override the default implementation with our own. 
So now in main, let's create a couple of structs, one which will be a note, and this will contain the string value of this is a simple note. And the other one is going to be a post, which is going to be a detailed post with a username and some content. Then down below, we can print the original note or the simple note, and we can print the detailed post. And now when we run this, what we should get as an output is the default implementation and then our own implementation. So we were able to use both of those.